Hey, everybody, Chuck and Stacy here. And man, do we have a special treat for you guys. Yes, we, we are do. doing a video demo spotlight with my man, our man, Mike Brang. And uh, you guys uh, know Mike Brang when we interviewed him about eight years ago on VO Buzz Weekly. Back then, eight years ago, when we interviewed Mike, Mike was not a full pro in the business, right? He was like a lot of you guys out there kind of getting started in the business and wanted to do things right and uh, to make sure that he got to where he is today, which is full pro, full-time VO. I mean, this is what he does, all he does. Um, so congratulations, Mike. Thanks, man. I, I owe it a lot of it to you and Stacy. So thank you guys. Well, thank you. Well, thank it's you. been a joy to watch your journey. And it has not been an easy one. It has not been one that you got lucky. You have put in the time, you have honed your craft, you have literally committed yourself to being better today than you were yesterday and so on and so on. So we're proud of you and congratulations. And and know that you know while there is no guarantees in much in life, you keep pushing, you keep putting in the effort and the passion and the persistence and things will shift. And you're a great example of that. So you are, man. Well, congratulations yeah. on that. Yeah. Super From day one, you started, you know, kicking butt and just really working your buns off, man, to make sure that you got to that goal that you wanted. Yeah. And you did. It was, it was almost like, it was almost like watching a movie where you knew what the ending was going to be. You know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. I, we, maybe, maybe for you, <laughs> well, like, maybe not. I, I knew, we knew where you were going to end up. He's like the Rudy of VO. He is. He's like the Rudy of VO. Now, listen, <laughs> I know that there's people out there going like, wait a minute, what the, what the hell is a video spotlight? <laughs> well, just so you know, a video spotlight is where we're going to record a demo. Uh, a voiceover demo, a promo to be specific, voiceover demo yes. with Mike Brang today. And we're going to show you the process of that recording. You're going to see Mike in his studio in California, mm -hmm. right? And Stacy and I are in our studio all the way down in good old Miami. And we're going to show you how this happens remotely. Um, because this is... The reality and the expectation of our business now. Absolutely. Because the demo obviously needs to showcase Mike, Mike's ability, Mike's versatility, Mike's, Mike's signature. Sound. But it also needs to showcase what they're going to get technologically with Mike and his home studio. Very so true. Very well important. Put. Very important. So, Mike, before we start, tell us what you are recording on, your DAW, give us your your gear yeah yeah so i use uh the microphone i'm using is a sennheiser 416 mm -hmm. that is routed into a port that goes through my wall and then out of my booth into um my uh avalon 737 that goes into the apollo twin and then that uh my doll that i'm using is pro tools so i print everything onto pro tools Right. Beautiful. And you are standing in what? Uh, I actually built uh, an actual room. I had a, a contracting company come out that specializes in building um, soundproof rooms. And this is triple layered. It's like ripped down to the studs. The walls are floating off of the studs. The floor is all dynamated. And then we've got like a studio that or a, a sound company that came out and put up all the, you know, they custom fitted all the sound panels in here. So, um, might be a little overkill. You don't need this much for sure. Like you can just get yeah, a nice vocal booth or something like that to start out. And, yeah. but uh, I want, I know that I'm going to, this is, I'm going to be here for a long time. And since this is my full-time job, I wanted to invest in, in this. But just to let people know, to let you guys know watching that you don't hire a contractor straight out of the gate. I can see too, if I can add to that, it, like the, the cost for these things that, that you can buy have come down significantly from when I was, um, just, you know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. And, um, they've gotten better. Like in my opinion, they've just, the companies have learned from past mistakes and they're able to build better acoustically treated options for cheaper, for a cheaper price, yeah. which is cool. For yeah. sure. Yeah. In fact, I just talked to, a uh, a guy, uh, today, who I'm recording a demo with and his studio was not up to par. Like we wouldn't have been able to record the studio. Yeah. Um, and uh, so all I suggested was, uh, and I'm not going to talk about specifics here, but I suggested a little microphone upgrade, not a lot, just a, a, a simple upgrade, definitely not a 416. Um, 
and a nice preamp. And uh, he was already working out of his, uh, he had a, uh, he has a closet at home that he had, you know, sound blankets and things like that. And that was great because it was no ambiance at all. It was nice and dead. And as soon as he got this new microphone and preamp and he sent me the samples, I was just like, oh my Night God. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, a two, three, four hundred dollar upgrade changes everything. And nowadays with, you know, a minimal investment, you can have broadcast quality professional sound from home. And by the way, almost everybody does nowadays. You have and, to. And, and and by the way, to add to that, you told me when I first started working with you and I told you what I was recording, I think I sent you some samples. We obviously did stuff in the studio, but you were nice enough to listen to some of my auditions. And um, you said, hey, man, here's what I would do. I would change. You did the same thing. Like, I think I would upgrade this and this. And you're like, just sell the gear, get the money for it, apply it toward this new stuff. It was, wasn't that much to bridge the gap. It was, you know, maybe a couple hundred bucks and yeah, leaps and bounds better. And you did see, that's the thing is that you didn't like question things that, you know, people, you were following certain people and saying, whatever this person tells me to do, I'm going to do. And you did. And I love that. I love it when people just invest in themselves as it, 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 when they have the talent and their and the will to do things the right way. This is not a get rich quick scheme yep. or, you know, Hey, I'm going to make a lot of money this month. I need to pay my rent. Ain't going to happen. Right. Yeah. It'd be uh, foolish to like uh, pay you for your time and your expertise and then not take your advice. You know, all the gear is great, but the other piece that's essential is the talent because it is voice acting, which you have. And I think we should get to it. I think we're going to get to it. I, I want to mention one more thing before we, we get recording, because this is important. And we touched on this, but this is so important that I want to touch on it a little bit touch more. Touch it more. Mike, <laughs> I'm going to touch it more. <laughs> Mike, how many sessions a day do you get in your car for to go to another studio across town to do that session? Now? Yeah. Uh, zero. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... And that's the answer that I was expecting. This is how the voiceover business is running today. Your studio is king now. It needs to be broadcast quality. An agent won't even sign you unless unless you have a nice sounding studio, number one. Number two, this is how you're going to be doing all of your auditions and practically 99.9% of all your jobs will be from your home studio. So that's why we're doing this remotely to show you guys how we're basically today, we're doing a demo, but we're basically going on six major national promo campaigns for different networks recorded all remotely. Yes. And I'm I'm a, a, a snowball's throw from, from LA. Like I can be in LA in 25 minutes and I still don't go in because they just don't require it. Now they want me to be, to be at home, like you said. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. okay. So now saying- we can actually start. Are so some fun, Mikey. Yeah, let's have some fun. I'm ready. Right. He's ready. He's ready. This is about as enthusiastic <laughs> as Mike is going to get today. Okay. He's over the. He's not like us. You, know. you know, we're over the top. Mike is right on top of the top. Um. <laughs> so, what would you like to start with? What's a good spot that you feel uh, like a good warm up for us? I uh, let's uh, let's do Fire Country on uh, for, with CBS. Ooh, good okay. Choice. Yeah. Great. Little let me, danger. Let me pull Little up that danger. script here real quick. And uh, and by the way, just so that everybody knows, um, these scripts that Stacy cleverly put together and wrote for Mike, um, based on the specs that we wanted to go with, the vibes that we wanted to go in for, uh, go with were for each of these promos. Uh, the specs for this spot are drama, adventure with danger. Right. And because now you get to kind of hear where Mike goes with that as we direct him towards that um, and see where we end up, because sometimes we end up changing things a little bit. Um, We want to have fun. This is not a place where we want to be nervous and say, oh, man, did I get that right? Who cares? I always tell people that the magic comes from the mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So allow yourself to screw it all up because that's where we're going to find the takes. All right. So whenever you're ready to rock. Uh, Mike, make sure that you're recording. Yep. I want you to keep visuals on your levels. And I may yep. ask you about the levels periodically. Yep. Yep. And we're going to save in between um, each spot to make sure that if your computer crashes, we're not losing anything. So mm-hmm. Mike is recording all on his side and we'll send all the files to us. To us. 
everything gets posted on this okay. side and then boom, then you guys get to hear it. Um, okay. So um, let's go for a, oh, and I do need you because I'm going to keep track of, yes. of things that slate. I like uh, from the takes. I just need you to slate every take, Mike. So just uh, fire country, uh, take one and then take two, take three, take four, take five. Okay. You got uh, it. On any other takes that we do. So for the first one, just say fire country, take one and make sure you're recording. You got it. You guys ready? Are ready. you rolling? I am rolling. All right, let's All go. Right. Fire Country, take one. Friday, a new Fire Country brings the heat. A new Fire Country, Friday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Beautiful. I love that. And check this out. You know what I love? That maybe a lot of people won't notice this, but I love that you popped into your mic. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're you're playing with your mic. And this is what is called, this is a technique. And it's called working the mic. And if he read that way out here, it wouldn't have this, wait, see my thumb? <laughs> way out here, it wouldn't have the same sound as it does when he comes into it, right? Uh, so I love that you did that. By the way, your direction on that was exactly where it needs to be, right, Stacey? Yeah, and just so you watching know that Mike on his script I put the SOT, the sound on tape, so he knows what action from the show is happening. So he can read what's happening in between his things. So yeah, yeah. That, that really sets me up for the lines a lot. So I yeah. kind of know how to how to very, how very to cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. So and let's, you'll hear those in the final yep. product. And let's go for a take two, buddy. So now you can just say take two. Cool. Take two. Friday. A new fire country brings the heat. A new Fire Country, Friday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Beautiful. Uh, that one was really mm -hmm. spectacular, man. Mm -hmm. One more, another one like that. Cool. Take three. Friday, a new Fire Country brings the heat. A new Fire Country, Friday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Beautiful. And then on take four, I would like to hit brings a little bit. So a new, a new Fire Country brings the heat. Okay. Cool. Take four. Take four. Friday, a new fire country brings the heat. A new fire country, Friday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Beautiful. That was nice, huh? Mm -hmm. I love that. We got plenty of stuff. I like that guy. Yeah, we got plenty yeah. of stuff. Um, okay, so that was great. I think that because that was kind of like a drama thing, we should stay in that vein. Mm -hmm. So maybe we go to the rookie next? Yeah. Okay, so new file. Yeah. So just make sure you save what we've done. Yep. Got that. And we're opening up a new one here, getting that okay. one started. And uh, we are good to go on my side. You're the rookie on ABC. Cool. And I'm ready if you guys are. Uh, okay. We are ready for take one. So this will be slated rookie take one. You want to, the, the specs on this? Oh, good. The dramedy. specs on this are dramedy. Edgy, cool. And some people are going, what the hell is a dramedy? <laughs> it's a combination of a drama and a comedy. Yes. Uh, although this 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 probably has a little bit more drama than comedy, but it has yeah. its, its moments, right? It does. Uh, let's hear where you go with it, buddy. Take one. All right. The rookie, take one. Prepare yourself for a twist no one saw coming. The rookie starts now on ABC. Cool. Now, check this out. I love this because, and I'm glad that we went a little higher on Fire Country on those higher takes, man, because that really adds a little bit more edginess to that spot. Mm -hmm. And this one, you can bring it down a little bit. And just so that people know, for this particular promo, like, let's say there's a, a show out there like this, and maybe it's a dramedy, right? Not all the promos are going to have a comedic kind of flavor to right. it. Some episodes might be like, really dramatic another episode might have a little bit more of a of a heart fl a flavor you know what i mean uh this particular one if you listen to the words um the sot just says i've got her i've got her it's a serious moment so mike's not going to be sitting there like playing around and you know yeah. it doing... was it was it was a an officer that was buried alive yeah it's a so serious moment not... lucy, lucy chen was in the ground i, I yes. watched the show yeah yes. very very cool so let's that was excellent buddy let's go for a take two cool take two prepare yourself for a twist no one saw coming the rookie starts now on abc 
Love it. Mm -hmm. Another freaking amazing mm -hmm. take. Take three. Cool. Take three. Prepare yourself for a twist no one saw coming. The Rookie starts now on ABC. Man, buddy, you have gotten so freaking great. It's not even funny. Because <laughs> Thanks, from the take two to take three, say you, you, you were in the zone, but you gave you gave us a little bit of a different mm -hmm. flavor and tension, you know, while still maintaining that skill. Mm -hmm. Most Thanks, people out there won't be able to hear that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, your ear uh, can, so can your Stacy. <laughs> well, no, but I'm just saying, man. I mean, I, I yeah. can hear it with my ears closed. Yeah. <laughs> but but for to somebody to be able to like slightly change something right, like right. that, man, that's flat skill. And and agents can hear that and buyers can hear that, by the way. I want to grab one more. Can I try a little quicker pace? Sure. One more. Take quick, four. Just a little quicker. Take four. Cool. Take four. Prepare yourself for a twist no one saw coming. The Rookie starts now on ABC. Okay, we got it. Mm -hmm. And I want to just highlight what Mike said earlier. I watched the episode. Okay? Yeah. So when people say, I don't watch TV, I don't listen to radio, I don't, I skip through the ads in, in, in the digital, in the digital space. It's really important. If you're not watching and listening to what's out there, how can you fully. How can you know what's out there? No, the tones and of different, yeah. of different networks and different absolutely. brands so Absol it's great absolutely mikey you are freaking on fire buddy we're done with that <laughs> <Save it. laughs> and um we're going to is your best friend yeah we're, we're going to do we're going to do <laughs> um so i'm going to let you pick the next one because yeah. now now we start changing uh wheels here yeah, yeah. I feel like just now, changing wheels gears gears switching wheels <laughs> gears, changing gears in the wheels um Changing gears. What do you want to do next? I'm, I'm thinking just to come up a, a little bit with Ted Lasso. What do you guys think? Sure. Yeah. Does that work? All right, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Let me go back and save what we did and create. Okay, a new great. Spot. Yeah. Give me Ted Lasso. Here. Save that. Create a new this and that. Got to be. You're smart. Hats. I'm glad you're my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I mess things me up. Too. She corrects me, gets them all right. Like we I always say, I'm the beauty, she's the brains. <laughs> I wish for everyone to have a Chuck in their life. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Lottery. I'd rather have a Stacy in my life. won the lottery. Thank you. That's very sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, be, I'll be Chuck Woolery here. You guys can have a love connection. And okay, so we have specs that are comedy, sarcastic, snarky, in on the joke. Ted Lasso, take one. Mistakes can weigh you down, unless you decide to be like a goldfish. Be happy. Watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV. Beautiful. By the way, I like the end of that a little more than the beginning of that. Because okay. you're kind of like in this like little, you know. So we still need a little bit more of the sarcasm. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That You just did it with your whole body. Sweet. Mistakes can weigh you down. Um, let's go for a take two. Cool. Take two. Mistakes can weigh you down. Unless you decide to be like a goldfish. Be happy. Watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV. Ah, oh, now come on. What the heck was that, dude? Hi, Bob. <laughs> That's your direction, man. No, it's you freaking skill. Yeah, the direction, it helps for sure. It's direction you know, and taking direction. But man, it's like... like you can't have a sandwich without, you have to get the direction like and take how, it. That's your sandwich. How does he go from like, you know, a first take that's a little off the where it needs to be and then all of a sudden just go, shoo. <laughs> well, thanks, man. Bullseye. Making that me push over here in California. Gorgeous. Let's go for another one like that. We have it. That was the take, by the way. But okay. let's see if we can top it mm -hmm. or put another flavor. Or whatever. see if you, is there anything you want to try? Totally. Take three. All right, cool. Take three. Mistakes can weigh you down unless you decide to be like a goldfish. Be happy. Watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV. Love it. It was a little bit more, you know, chilled sure. out on that. He was a little bored, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go for a take four and even give me uh, something a little different. Can we try just cool. one thing? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. So mistakes can weigh you down. And almost like you're getting ready to leave the room. Unless 
Ah, it's yes. Like, you have it. Like you're 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 coming up with a thought. This is like Stacy's on play. camera coming to play. I ah, love it. that was a good <laughs> point too. Just a little bitty camera. Just a little Let's do that. Camera. Mistakes can weigh you down, unless you decide to be like a goldfish. Be happy. Watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV. Excellent. Fun. So now I have Thank two takes that are freaking out of this world <laughs> stellar. They're not just good, they're stellar. Thank you for that. That was sure. amazing. Uh, we're done with that, Mikey. You can save. Cool. Thanks, man. Since we did that, let's go to Somebody Feed Phil. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Netflix. On Netflix, because that also has a little humor flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got it up here. Specs? Donkey series. Fun, humor, travel buff. Travel buff. So you're or, Phil's or travel Phil. bud. Yeah. Yeah. You're part of the part of the group. <laughs> Somebody feed Phil take one. Travel the world with Phil Rosenthal. He nourishes your soul. And always his belly. So please, somebody feed Phil on Netflix. I would like to hear that was good. I'd like to hear a little bit more invitation. Okay. Got it. Take two. Travel the world with Phil Rosenthal. He nourishes your soul and always his belly. So please, somebody feed Phil on Netflix. Beautiful. That was a cool take. Stacy, what do you think? Um, do you wanna do you wanna change it to he nourishes your soul as opposed to his soul? Yeah, we can do your soul. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's you, do that. Because you said you are. It's written oh. his. Oh, shoot. No, I don't want to do that. No, but <laughs> that's okay. No, but we, I mean, that's, it, that's better. But, he nourishes like your that. soul. Yeah. And and he nourishes your soul and his belly. I like that. Go oh, for it. It was a happy accident. I didn't mean yeah. for it to A happen. great accident. You uh, said, what did you say, Chuck, of the mistakes? You always find the gold in the mistakes? Yes. Right? I like And here that. you go. This is yeah. a perfect example of that. This will be take three. And I love the invitation. Mm -hmm. Cool. You don't All lose right. the invitation, though, uh, at the end. So okay. please, somebody feed Phil. Okay. Uh, take three. Question. Yes. <laughs> this is for the panel. <laughs> the panel. So he nourishes your soul. So he gives, he nourishes your soul, but he feeds his belly. Do we want to not punch your and his? Punch it a little bit. Yeah. But just, just highlight it a little bit. Like you get a soul nourishment, but he gets the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of, okay. and then, I and like then a that. little bit of like, Please already somebody feed him. Like, please get him. Okay, back. I like that. I like that. Like, you know, you get metaphorical food. He gets the real yeah. stuff. I love you get it. the soul. Big deal. Yeah. You're still hungry, but he gets the good food. Okay. Travel the world with Phil Rosenthal. He nourishes your soul, and always his belly. So please, somebody feed Phil on Netflix. Boom. I got it. Freaking like awesome, dude. <laughs> That had some nice turns. It, it really does. Great, great, yeah. great direction on that. And let me tell you something. The fact that you can just pull Bam. every little thing that we're throwing at you, because we're playing with you. We're just like throwing stuff at you. You're like, you know, catching the rocks and go like, put them in your pocket. I'll do that. What else do you want? <laughs> I'll start using this in my sessions, man. Thank you. So great. Great job. Can uh, I have you guys in the booth with me when I go on my next uh all, everybody. all you gotta do is give us a call. Which cool. shoulder you want, uh, right or left? Yeah. <laughs> Stacy's here, Chuck's here. <laughs> Let's uh we're done with that. So save Hi. and uh um, you. you're a good sport, Mikey. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We're we're I'm I'm happy. Where do you want to go next? We have two more. We do. We've got I'm uh, dancing with yeah. myself in crickety. It's the Irwins. Crikey. Crickety. <laughs> I know we play crickety. <laughs> crickety. It's the Irwins. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, but do you remember, Mike, when we were first doing this and I, yes. and, I and I kept saying crickety? Yeah. I didn't want to correct you. I was just like, now, hey. no, no, but now I can't stop saying crickety. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Watch well, they change the name oh, to Crickety. That's the sequel. That's the sequel. I mean, I everyone, you'll be laughing at everybody else. The word is Crikey. Crikey. Yeah. Crikey. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, Crickety, it's the Irwins. Want to start with that one? Sure. <laughs> okay. So, Family fun, relatable, friendly. Okay. That's our specs. Got it. Thank Those you. Those are the specs. Cool. Let's be uh, Crikey, it's the Irwins. Take one. A day in the life of the Irwins is as wild as and wonderful as it gets. 
Crikey, it's the Irwins, streaming on Discovery+. Plus. I love it. Okay, let's go for a take two. Cool, take two. A day in the life of the Irwins is as wild and wonderful as it gets. Crikey, it's the Irwins, streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Excellent. Can I hear one where you say crickety? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> That'll be the I'm going <laughs> crickety. It's the In case they decide to change the name. In case they decide. Yeah. And, and put a little Auss, uh, Aussie in there. That's you know, your, a little, that's your little Aussie, Australian. That's your uh, line. No, I'm kidding. They I'm kidding. You're totally, you're totally there, buddy. One more, two, three, and I think we'll have an elite. <laughs> Stacy wants to throw you in for a loop or something. Cool, man. Take three. A day in the life of the Irwins is as wild and wonderful as it gets. Crikey, it's the Irwins, streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Excellent. What do you think? You want to hear? This guy is such a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. That's like a nice family guy. So what do you want to hear? A tough guy now? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Crikey, it's the Irwins. (laughs) I mean, just because you can. I'm just curious because we don't have one that's like really friendly. Like really smile them up put Snap that up. smiley buttery okay. sauce on there make it a little really, bit more butter you're not talking down to the audience but it's really family yeah we'll just get not far with okay, it. really but g- real butter g-rated got it okay cool take four. thank you take four. take four a day in the life of the irwins is as wild and wonderful as it gets crikey it's the irwins streaming on discovery plus Okay. Because that I, could be, I mean, that could be, um, you know, a Nick, a Nick Jr. voice. True. You know, just because even though it's Discovery, I'm just trying to think of, we, we don't have that. Yeah. And you have that younger demographic in you. Yeah, we definitely um, got, so that, I was that just had curious a more useful with that. flavor for sure. I love that. I think we have it. Yeah, for sure. I think we, we mm-hmm. have it. Let's, uh, let's move on. <gasps> Next, we are moving on to Dancing with Myself. Yes. Mm This is a newer show on NBC. Mm -hmm. Um, And the specs are energetic, uh, reality, entertainment vibe, um, exciting, and and competition. It's a competition show. Yeah. Uh, So let's see where we go with it. Cool. All right. Dancing with Myself, take one. Social media dance challenges. Hit primetime. Shakira's Dancing With Myself, next on NBC and stream anytime on Peacock. Uh, what do you think? Mm-hmm. Pretty freaking great, right? Um, Yeah, I, I would love to hear, imagine the sound bed is pretty amped. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just you know, this that. is like the TikTok culture. And then I would, I would love to just hear the the tag, the next on NBC and stream anytime on Peacock, just a little faster, just like, you know how those fast tags go. I'm just, I just yeah. love to hear a faster tag just to see. Yep. Sure. Take two. Cool. Take two. Social media dance challenges hit prime time. Shakira's dancing with myself next on NBC and stream anytime on Peacock. Beautiful. Nice. That was good. Smooth. Very smooth. Really, really smooth. Yeah. Uh, I want to grab another one like that uh, for take three. Cool. Take three. How are your levels on that, by the way? Are they cool? Uh, yeah, we're not peaking or anything. Okay, like, great, great. Okay, cool. Uh, take three. Social media dance challenges hit prime time. Shakira's Dancing with Myself next on NBC and stream anytime on Peacock. Mm. That was another great yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good one. So, and here's the cool thing, man. Mm-hmm. Your first, uh, Your first read was great, right? Mm-hmm. But if we want to show a little bit of different flavors of Mike, something less like the last two takes that we did is going to really, really be a, a big difference from even like if you compare that. Well, first of all, you compare that to any of our other reads. It's, it's like you got a yin yang happening there, mm-hmm. but it still sounds like Mike. Yeah, you're hearing the whole thing. Yeah. So Chuck knows what he needs to fully close the circle on the Mike Brang experience in this 60 second demo. Yeah. So that they listen past three seconds, which they will. Yeah. But Mike also has to keep in mind, as do we, Mm -hmm. that he signed with a very big agency. Yep. And he knows what they need of him. Yes. To represent on the demo. 
in fact, we we've talked uh, about that. So mm-hmm. there's certain things that they need to hear too. So, I, and I'm pretty confident. I that think we we've gotten what they want. They needed to things that they need, right? Don't you think? I would think so. Yeah, I think they'd be they'd be happy with what we've done. I can't wait to hear what you guys put together. It'll be awesome. Well, I want to ask you something. Yeah. Um, when I asked you, when you said you called me up and said, "Hey, Chuck, you know, let's do a new demo," and I said, "Dude, great." Can we record a spotlight, you know, and, and record the experience of recording a demo with Mike Brank? Uh, and you were like, uh, okay. He <laughs> <laughs> thought about it for like 30, no, like less than 30 seconds, like 10 seconds. And he was like, yeah. Um, but let me ask you, man. So now that you know how you felt, and I love asking this because people feel different. You know how you felt going into this because you didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Now that we're done and we've recorded it, how do you feel about the experience of it and, you know, just your comfort level of where we ended? I, I feel great, man. I um, I mean, if I'm speaking honestly, I've worked with you uh, I can, I, more times than I can count on both hands, right? So, um, yeah, no, every experience that I've gone into has just been, um, very warm, very welcoming. Um, it's not nerve wracking at all. Um, the copy is written perfect. Like there's no words that I'm going to trip up on the, um, you know, the way that you guys direct is always fun and easy. And I, I never, I don't really have any butterflies, uh, as much anymore, but, um, it's the process is fun. I feel energized and fun and excited to get going. And then I'm probably a little sad when it's over. So uh, no, it's the you're catch for. too. It's like you you want to do your best, yeah. but then you're like, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, so I I want to let people know something here too, because we 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 could work with you all night because it's a joy to work with somebody who is really fully present and really fully invested in the industry for the right reasons. Yeah. And it's just again, I have to say, so hopefully you haven't clicked away out there um is it's been a joy it is a joy to watch your career go into that place of just uh not complacency by any means because you're always growing and building and raising the bar but just to see somebody who's worked so hard get what they deserve and i'm just really really excited and proud proud and we're proud man if it feels really really very very proud feels really really good to see you growing yeah so and 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 i don't want people to 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 look at this video watch this video and go like oh man you know I, i don't know if i'm that great most of the demos that i produce with people we have a lot of mistakes that happen, you know, and that's why I always tell people the magic comes from the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mike didn't make a lot of mistakes today, but that's because Mike does this every single day of his life for money. He's a total pro. He gets directed constantly on so many things and has for years. So he goes into the studio and anything that you can throw at him is like, all right, you know, and he just does it. And, 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 and you get to that point, you know, you work hard enough and you coach and you work and, and you get to the point where that's your gig and you're doing it, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh full yeah. time, you become that great. And, yeah. and, and we love that. So I always like showing, you know, mistakes when they happen, but I also, I also like, you know, sh- showcasing, you know, great talent and hard work. Let's not yes. forget yes. when that needs to be yes. showcased as well. You don't run a mile today and do a marathon 26.2 miles tomorrow. It's a journey. It's a process. Now, next, you guys are going to hear Mike's demo, completely edited, totally done, Mm -hmm. posted. I mean, it's going to sound really, really great. But I wanted to ask you something, Mike. I know that your beautiful wife, Mariana, is a video freaking genius, won awards for editing and video and all that stuff. Do you think you can get her to put visuals to... The spots that we did today. Uh, yeah, I thought. Yeah, I can. I can talk her into it for sure. I know where she oh. sleeps. She's yeah. I'll. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll uh. <laughs> you can. I'll, I'll you can be charming when you want. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, then you guys are in for a treat. Yes. yes. Knowing what you know now, what would you say to yourself if you were starting your career today? Don't get discouraged. I um, 
in the beginning, it was like, man, is this ever going to happen? Should, should I even think about losing, like not losing, leaving my job? Like I always dreamed of uh, leaving, not because I didn't like the work per se. I did. I enjoyed it. I worked with helping people a lot, but um, you know, it was like, my goal was to get to, you know, to, to get to full-time BO. And I'm still, I have more goals even now, like it never stops. But um I got discouraged along the way. Like, is this ever going to happen? Am I ever going to get signed? Am I, am I ever going to get opportunities to to play in the, with the big leagues? And then once I got in that arena, am I good enough to even be here? Am I good enough to get these kinds of jobs? And then, you know, it, there's a little bit of self doubt with things that come along, but you know what, like it, everything's working out great so far. I have no complaints and I'm, I guess I'll just tell myself to just keep, keep moving forward. You know, Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And that's what you all should do. Keep moving forward. Absolutely. Don't give up. No one can take away your dreams without your permission. So keep Absolutely. on, yeah. keep on. Thanks very, for watching. Cool. All right. Well, and... somebody introduce Mike's new demo because it's coming up right now. Do it, Chuck. And right now we have brand new sparkly, sparkly promo demo. Mike Brang, and here it is. Friday, a new fire country brings the heat. More water, come on, let's go. New Fire Country, Friday, 9, 8 central on CBS. A day in the life of the Irwins is as wild. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that. That oh. is perfect. And wonderful as it gets. Crikey, it's the Irwins, streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Prepare yourself. I've got her! I've got her! For a twist no one saw coming. The Rookie starts now on ABC. Social media dance challenges hit primetime. Now it is time to duke it out in a freestyle dance battle. Shakira's Dancing With Myself, next on NBC and stream anytime on Peacock. Mistakes can weigh you down, unless you decide to be like a goldfish. You know why? Got a 10 second memory. Be happy. Watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV+. Travel the world with Phil Rosenthal. He nourishes your soul. A toast to the beautiful people I've met on my trip. And always his belly. So please, somebody feed Phil on Netflix.